In this video, I'm going to share three high ticket dropshipping secrets with you that are not what most of the high ticket gurus out there will either know or will share with you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notify button so that you'll be the first to know when we release weekly high ticket dropshipping goodness. So let's dive in. Secret one is that organic search traffic is the number one traffic source for high ticket dropshipping businesses. Now most people will tell you to focus on running Google ads and Google shopping ads to get traffic to your website to make sales. And in the beginning, this is the right thing to do. But the trouble is that most high ticket dropshippers do just Google ads for way too long. They become reliant on it and that's a risky proposition. For most high ticket dropshipping businesses, there is three to four times as much traffic available organically through search engines than there is via Google ads. Now, why is this the case? It's because with dropshipping margins, it's generally not affordable or profitable to actually access all of the traffic that is available via Google ads. But using SEO practices to generate organic search traffic, it doesn't have the same ongoing overhead that paid traffic does. So you're actually able to profitably generate more traffic organically using SEO than you can with ads. This means you can grow your business much further if you focus on SEO supported with Google Ads than if you focus on Google Ads alone. So rather than waiting years to actually implement an active SEO strategy for your high ticket dropshipping business, you should start early and make it a central part of your business growth strategy. Secret two is customer first niche selection. Other gurus out there will tell you to find a product that fits certain criteria and then base your business around that product category. So for example, I could select wine coolers as my product and start a business called Wine Coolers Online. Now aside from being super boring, this is actually a limiting way to set your brand and your business up. When you just focus on selling one high ticket product category like wine coolers, you are ignoring two of the three basic ways to grow any business. Now let's recap what those are. So the three ways to grow any business is one, to generate more first time customers, two, increase your average order value, and three, increase your rate of repeat business. If you wanna grow a big and sustainable business over time, you need to be able to do all three of those. Now, if you just sell wine coolers, you can actually really only do the first way to grow your business. So sure, you can get more first time customers to a point, but it's really hard to increase your average order value or increase your rate of repeat business when you just sell wine coolers. Most people do not buy more than one wine cooler at a time and they don't regularly buy them a second or a third time. So this makes it really hard to grow your business. But not only that, from a marketing perspective, you aren't really speaking to anyone directly. And that makes your marketing less effective, more expensive, and more susceptible to competition. So what's the answer to that? Well, the answer is to base your niche and business around your ideal customer, the person you are going to serve, rather than just a particular product. So for our example where I said wine coolers, rather than saying my business is based around those wine coolers, I might say that my business is going to serve women who are passionate about wine. I'm then going to sell any products with a focus on high ticket products that a wine lover would be interested in to help them pursue their passion. Now of course this would include wine coolers, but it would also include a range of other product categories. In doing this, I can sell multiple products on the same order, thereby increase, increasing my average order values, and I can sell different products to the same customer over time, which gives me more repeat business potential, which in turn can provide higher profit margins and more sales. Not only that, but when you focus on an easily identifiable ideal customer and your whole website and your marketing and everything you do speaks directly to just that person, everything you do becomes more effective. You can compete at a higher level because most of your competition won't be doing that and you stand out to your ideal and target customer much more than everybody else. Now secret three, growing a profitable, sustainable, high ticket dropshipping business is hard work and it doesn't happen overnight. Now, 
Really, this should go without saying, but unfortunately for years now, there have been a range of people who promote high-ticket dropshipping as a lifestyle business and an easy business, or one that you can do while sitting on the beach. Now, the problem with this is it leads many first-timers into unrealistic expectations, which, when they ultimately aren't met, cause a lot of people to quit out of their businesses prematurely. Here's the real deal. Dropshipping is a real business. Real businesses require hard work in the beginning, and often always, and while dropshipping is a simple business model, it is definitely not an easy one. The reward here though, is that if you are prepared to put in a period of hard work, consistency and demonstrate patience, it can be a very rewarding business model that can become a lifestyle kind of business once you reach a certain point once you've got systems in place, once you've outsourced, it is possible. So there you have three high ticket dropshipping secrets that almost no one else online will tell you. If you'd love to learn all of our high ticket dropshipping secrets, plus the entire game plan for launching and growing your own profitable high ticket dropshipping business, head over to dropshipbreakthrough.com forward slash book a call and have a quick chat with me to find out how we can help you do just that. Thanks for watching.